sure. So what is acquisitions? I get this question quite often. Actually, uh, down in Alabama when I attended a squadron officer school, we had a flight with pilots and civil engineers and lawyers and they said, hey, acquisitions, what is that? What do you do? And the best way I can describe it is, hey, if you need a new airplane or maybe uh, your fuel bladder on uh, your transport uh, failed, right? We just can't go down to Walmart and purchase a new one or Amazon Prime it. The way I like to describe program management the best is you think of a old time wagon, you have a wagon wheel and a bunch of different cogs in the wagon wheel. You as a program manager are the center point of that wagon wheel, managing all these different aspects. You're trying to get that wheel turning and running as smoothly as possible. It looks like, hey, if we need a new capability, um, you know, Leo, Mio, Geo, um, in terms of uh, maybe imaging or in terms of uh, weather, or maybe even a GPS satellite. It's acquisitions the process, the business uh, side of the house. for working with uh, not only private industry, uh, but as well as our team partners who create uh, capabilities for the warfighter. Yeah, some people may ask, hey, why is acquisitions exciting or different? I would say you, you're going to brief. Probably briefing is the number one thing you'll do as a program manager. You'll take, uh, you'll, you'll help build upon customer requirements. Quite often times we're working on different programs or projects. So if you were my customer, for instance, and you said, hey, we have X number of dollars we want to spend and we're looking to do this, our capabilities in IT or something aren't as great, what can you do for us? Can we solicit businesses to provide us a better opportunity? We would take that requirement, requirement build it with our technical experts, and then um, basically provide you the end solution. In one organization, I worked with a, a test unit. It could be a special forces test unit. It could be you know day-to-day -day operational or developmental tests that they had to create something new that didn't exist. And so I got to work with a few partnerships with the universities, including MIT and Georgia Tech, um, as well as uh, several members from the Pentagon and creating not only the requirements, um, but a plan, uh, get those contracts in place. We had some rapid developments and then actually bring those uh, to the fight. So I can tell you right now, if you want to eat bugs, and uh, work all night and be on that leading edge of the, you know, the tip of the spear, uh, acquisitions may not be the job for you. Now you may be asking yourself as a cadet, God, I have so many different options to choose from. How do I know that program manager, program management, acquisitions management in the Space Force is right for me? Well, I can guarantee that you came here because you knew you wanted to be a part of something bigger than yourself. Uh, and if that, if that rings true with you, I can 110% guarantee that that you will find a value in being a program manager in the Space Force. Um, we have a regular business hour, 7.30 to, to 4.30. I think it offers the greatest nine to five uh, opportunity for those that are interested across uh, any sort of uh, Air Force or Space Force career field. Yeah, so my daily life of, hey, what, uh, what does it mean to be an acquisitions officer, right? So usually the process is, hey, step one, uh, we have a capability, we have a need, right? Whether that be the warfighter or an operator, and they say, hey, we, you know, uh, what can we do? So, you know, the first thing in the government that we, we determine is, you know, can it be solved by non-material methods, whether it be through doctrine or some kind of organizational change? So at that point, it's determined, yep, hey, uh, it can or cannot be. If it cannot be, well, yeah, maybe we need to develop something materially, right? So then we figure out, hey, how much, how much is it gonna cost? Um, you know, what kind of contract that we may need? Um, you know, what kind of uh, service capability and or product capability exists? You know, how many different companies out there that actually make the product, right? And then if and when it finally happens, right, at the end, it's, you know, let's verify and make sure it works, right? Let's verify and go out there and test it. And it's pretty exciting when that capability finally does get delivered uh, because usually the warfighter and the operator uh, are pretty excited to have, you know, maybe something new um, that makes their life a little bit easier.